In this video, I'm going to quickly go through how you could use the double angle identity. And this is more of, this is not how the questions would show up for you typically, but going through these examples are, um, they're useful to make you understand how the angles, the double, the identities work. So if I have this uh, 2 sine phi, uh, 5 cos 5, um, and I just want to rewrite it in a different way. I could use the first identity for sine, and you can see that sine 2 theta is sine 2 sine theta cos theta. What this exercise will help you understand is how this 5 behaves here. So this 5 becomes your theta, and then this is doubled. So this is exactly equal to taking sine of 2 times this 5, so 5 is your theta here, and then I can rewrite this as sine 10. So this is me rewriting it. Another example, I have this, and you could immediately match it with one of these, which is the cos 2 theta. So just identify your theta here, and then I can just rewrite this as cos 2 times my theta. My theta here is 6, and so I have cos 12. And that's it. It's as simple as that. And it's just to understand how these formulas work, um, just relating them to each other, being able to match. Do watch the other videos where I go through more um, complex, complex examples or more um, important examples regarding the double angle identity.